What's up guys? I'm Shane and welcome back to our Black Rock State Gorillas Dynasty. Swim Taylor still on top of the Heisman race. I I feel like his stats aren't really that impressive this year. He's got 191 yards on the ground through three games. That's not a great average. Three rushing touchdowns. I sure if you guys want to give him the Heisman on that, that's cool. And then Joey Thomas moving up the rankings as he should. Again, I didn't notice it in the moment. I noticed it after the fact. Four touchdown passes last week. Nah, it was only three. It was only three. Because that would be four. Swim Taylor had two. That would be six. Return touchdown for seven. We only scored 42 points. But thanks for the stat boost. All right, starting conference play against Wake Forest. Yeesh. Maybe they shouldn't be here. Um, God, I hope I don't screw this up. No one on Swim Taylor threw it a little behind him, but that's fine. To start with four. Small passes, that's all I want right now. Read option, keep it with Joey Thomas, slide down. All right, the only thing I don't like about this play is that Dilworth is not on a route. He's staying in the block. That's not what he does. Whoa. Okay, well, I had Swim Taylor open, and I missed him. Oh, man, the throws are not there today. That could have been RO3. Joey Thomas with just two straight bad passes, and we're going to have to punt it immediately. All right, so according to the pregame stats, they throw the ball a lot. He takes off. Didn't see that one coming, to be fair. Oh, I was in on a blitz. It, I got there too fast. All right. That's not what they're supposed to do. He's going to take off, and he only picks up one. And perfect. I let him get ahead of me. And uh, I was just going for the sure tackle. Instead, he drops it. There we go. Read up to swim Taylor, and he didn't accelerate at all. Take Omar on that little out. He steps out, but it's only a third and two. Ah, Joe. <laughs> Swim Taylor had to fight for that, but he does pick up the first. Oh, well. I thought he was playing too far off. I'm like, oh, I can just force that in there. No. Not a good day passing today. Uh, okay, we got a zero yard sack. Good job, Carter. And terrible coverage on there. And of course, he gets a garbage animation to go forward. Oh, come on, Miner. Please just pick off one of them. He was thinking pick six. That's all that was. If he grabs that, he's gone. And they go for a screen and lose five yards. All right, I got to get my head in the game. Oh, there we go, DJ Watson. Get around that. Wow. I was focused on the guy coming. I lost track of where I was running. Ran right out of bounds. I mean, it probably wasn't going to be a touchdown, but we'll never know. Whoa! Whoa! That's that's video games right there. That man definitely just snapped his like spine in real life. But okay, good play. Thank you. Oh, there we go, Collier. All right, we got one of the picks back. At least someone on this defense has some good hands. All right, so we can't run and we can't pass, but otherwise we're good. What the hell? Whoa, okay, he threw that so inaccurately, he hit another defender in the back. All right, last time I audibled in the four verts, we missed Swim Taylor, like, hysterically. This time we got him. All right. 
It's <laughs> the best play we've had offensively all day. Wow, that guy over-pursued me. Just take it. Okay, well, please don't get injured out of bounds. He's getting up. Cool. Jesus, Swim Taylor. It was, like, just so slow to start. And he still managed to pick up all those yards. All right, let's just not turn it over here. Keeper to Swim Taylor. I mean, that's what I was going to do anyways. I saw the way that uh, le uh, right side of the line was stacked. I did the thing where I called PA smash in a position where it won't work. Oh. All right, I'll take our 3 End of an awful first quarter, and we're down 3 nothing to Wake Forest. And Joey Thomas get in for a rushing touchdown, and we're going to take the lead. Somehow. What a terrible game so far. All right, they went for a screen, and we take him down for TFL. Oh, I played short on my zone. He goes down for a sack. He wasn't expecting that. Good job, Wilkerson. Oh, okay. Well, that was weird. I finally recognized that I was on the spy, but I switched off on the covering the running back, and I blew the tackle, but he jumped out of bounds. Ooh, that guy was fast. I'm used to DJ Watson having to step on these guys. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Now the passes are starting to fall in place. Oh, my God. I'm putting DZ at fullback. Him is a lead blocker. Good God. Oh, that wasn't even him. That was the offensive lineman. Now, I just want to go out and say it here because I don't know if I'll remember to say it at any other point. Mike DZ is the best tight end we've ever had on this channel. As far as, like, a balanced tight end, because he's an incredible blocker. He's got sure hands. Maybe he's not the fastest guy. Other tight ends have put up better stats. I'm looking at you, Alberting, from all the way back in year two of the North Texas Dynasty. Um, and obviously, Dilworth is a much more dynamic playmaker at tight end. But as for overall balance, like, DZ can do it all. The biggest thing failing him the last couple years have been the playbooks not really getting him involved too much. A little more involved this year than last year, but that's not saying much. And basically I'm saying all this to say, if he doesn't get drafted, I will be sad. Okay. Um, so the guy's coming in. I'm guessing that was a linebacker. I hope that was a linebacker because he was faster than me. Yeah, I was a linebacker on a blitz. Okay. Whatever. I'm, I'm good just taking the field goal. I'm just going to take points. No reason to get stupid. Again, like... I can't cover him that well because he's off the screen. But go ahead and throw it to him and take a three-yard loss. This guy has three yards passing today. Because he keeps doing crap like that. Oh, Miner with another drop pick. <laughs> he tries. Oh, Goku with a drop pick this time, too. I mean, we'll probably get better field position with him dropping it, but still. Although it would have been funny if it had deflected into that other guy's hands. I can only say it now, after it didn't happen. Oh, good enough block. Not a great one, but he chipped that guy just enough for me to squeak past and pick up the first. Wow. Thanks. All right. Same thing, except it was DZ this time. All right, no one on Swim Taylor. He can't fight into the end zone, but gets it right on the goal line. Good enough for me. Ooh, I flipped the run, and it did not matter. But luckily on the read option, they all went after Swim Taylor. Screen pass. And they lose two. That's still like their third best pass today. Jesus Christ. Ooh, the draw play. Okay, wait a second. They should just run the ball all day. 
We apparently were not prepared. Oh, that was on me. They gained a yard on that one. I uh, ran the wrong way. Oh, no. They figured out how to pass nope. on us. Oh, my God. We can't tackle this guy. Uh, he had an open scramble on that. Aw, oh, come on, Cooper. I need better coverage in that audio. Mm. All right, well, I just uh, got stuck in the same blitz play. I wanted to audible, but I didn't have time. Yeah, we're just going to run four verts. Chuck it up. Oh, my God, R3 got it. I should have known. I just, I should have known. Hail Mary's not going to work. If anything's going to work, RO3 on a streak and just let him run past his defender. And sure enough, perfectly placed ball. Thank you, Dilworth, for getting down downfield, getting that one push. Okay. Well, I feel better about myself now. What a way to end the half. Going into halftime, up 24-10. Okay, well, he got three. And taken down for a sack. Great coverage downfield. Wilkerson again. Oh, he wants to try and get the ball off. He got hit as he threw it, though. Ooh, Watson with some broken tackles on this one. Picking up 20 on that. And then going down injured at the end. It's amazing how in the first quarter, Joey Thomas could not deliver a slants pass, like a very simple pass, but then at the end of the half, perfectly places a deep bomb. Okay. Oh, I thought I would have more of an arc on that one. Damn, we're not getting any sort of blocks on these linebackers coming up. You think he can do it again? Wow, yes he can. No one covered him. RO3, two catches for 100 yards. I don't know if he's got other catches in there. I think he's got one like five yarder or something. Okay. What was that coverage? And isn't Malik Murray the best wide receiver on the team? He gets nothing. I'll just, I'll take that. I was going to try and force a pass and I'm like, they're... There's no one covering me running, so I, I guess I'll take it in. Oh, thank God he dropped that. Collier blew that coverage bad. Oh, some somehow he caught that. Damn, I thought we were about to get another sack. And he only gets one on that. Joey Thomas is the run for his life constantly. He fumbled it, too. But he didn't go down injured. That's the important part. I still haven't gotten an update on DJ Watson, but it was Andrew Thomas going in for the kick return, or the punt return. So it, it might be serious. Swim Taylor is just, I mean, yeah, he's got a 2.9 average right now. Mike DC, there we go, downfield. Tried the truck, a dude, still picking up 22. Oops, stuttered. Uh, that was still one of Swim Taylor's best runs today. If they're that aggressive coming back here, maybe I can get a screen here. Oh, they were real aggressive. Swim Taylor making a couple cuts, picking up seven on that. Okay. Screens are doable today. And DZ holds on to it, picking up a touchdown. Oh, great breakup by Seberg. That's all right, bud. That was just supposed to be a swat. That wasn't a drop pick. Screen 
pass. That was interesting. Oh, I was about to say, we can hang our hat on the fact that they haven't completed a, or uh, converted a first down. So they're one for nine on third down conversions. And this is that guy, 33. That's the only one who's given us any trouble. All right, well. I mean, it, it might be too late for you guys. Oh my god, that blitz. And I actually kept Goku back because there was no one covering the halfback. But just the whole... Look at that! What was he supposed to do? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's just hilarious. That was my zone. Dang, I was trying to uh, stay underneath for that halfback. And I should not have. End of the third quarter, and we're blowing him out. 38-10. Oh, he went to take off and just ran into somebody and said, Who got that? That was Luke Collier getting that. Oh, God. That was me. They haven't run an angle route today. I kind of slept on that. All right. Hemp Hill is really starting to annoy me. There we go. That'll stop him. Oh, man, the read option just worked. Damn. They are, okay. I'm like, are they going to go for onside covers already? They are. Have you seen my hands team out here? Wake Forest has looked really, really good today on two drives. And looked really, really trash on the rest of them. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start chewing clock already. Okay, I say that. Joey Thomas with the spin move in for another touchdown. <laughs> okay, I managed to chew clock for one play. I thought that spin move was a mistake, to be fair. I probably could have run in a straight line, but I, I figured this would look prettier. And it did. Oh, he's taking off. I was... I'm hoping we get him to fumble it at one point, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, we... That was like a pick play. Not even a pick. We just got... We stumbled into each other. That's just terrible coverage. That blitz got there. Great coverage by Andrus on that. And uh, apparently they're going to punt it back. I guess this means they're conceding defeat. Okay, and DJ Watson's still not out here. That's not good. Bruised ribs out for game. At least it's only for the game. That's fine. Screen pass, and uh, Swim Taylor decided to stop. And, I mean, at least it turned into a positive play. That one, not so much. Probably shouldn't go it on fourth and two from our own 25, but I mean... If no one's going to cover Malik Murray. Remember how we pretty much almost threw the entire game away in the first quarter? Well, Joey Thomas got player of the game anyways. Final stats on the day. Joey Thomas, 17-27, 261 yards, two touchdowns, two picks, two sacks. Hey, completion percentage went up to 62%. At one point, he was, what, like two for eight, two for nine? Rushing. Swim Taylor did manage to get 50 yards on the ground. It was tough going for him today. Joey Thomas with four touchdowns, 76 yards. He had a fumble, but, I mean, it went right out of bounds. Receiving. Swim Taylor, five for 45. Omer, four for 44. RO3, 3 for 114 and a touchdown, including that 66-yarder with three seconds left in the half. DZ, 3 for 40 and a touchdown. Murray, 2 for 18. Harvey, Williams, Dilworth all getting pancakes. Lancelots, Yellett, both giving up sacks. Andrus, as usual, leading the team with eight tackles today. Two TFLs for Wilkerson, both sacks. Two for Andrus, including one sack. Seberg getting two TFLs. 
Carter won for a sack. Latragna won for a sack. Minor Yakovic both getting one apiece. Abram Collier with the only interception. Two drop passes for Minor. Two swats for Seaberg. One drop pass for Goku. Well, that'll wrap this one up. Uh, we gotta get our head together. Like, okay, Wake Forest, yeah, we still smoked them, but they're garbage. Like, we still got Clemson and all these other great ACC teams on the schedule. And uh, we can't afford to have a first quarter like that against them. So hopefully I get it together. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.